Hey friends, the Continuous Harvest Farm is back in operation. Now I've got a flood tray. Um, I looked long and hard for uh, affordable flood trays and um, did not find one. I was ready to pay $65 for a real one, but uh, they were back ordered and it just took too much time. So what this is, it's a rabbit tray from um, Tractor Supply. I think maybe here is the... It's actually a dropping pan. See if that focuses. I don't know. It doesn't want to... There we go. That's what it is. It's a rabbit dropping pan intended to be under a rabbit tray. I've got a uh, flood and drain tray going. <clears throat> There's the pump. There's the uh, inlet hose is a half inch and the outlet hose is a three quarter. And uh, basically this will, I've got it set so it fills up to just above the bottom of the trays, uh, just above the ridges and then drains. and. This tray here is for uh, germinating, and that is what I'm going to do next, is seed my trays and start them here. You'll see I have my heat, uh, heat uh, mat there, and uh, running that at 25% duty cycle, and it's in the low 80s as far as temperature, and uh, that's for the sunflowers. Um, the others, the uh, radish and the broccoli, don't need that. It's only for the sunflowers. Gets uh, a good germination going, helps them drop their hulls, and uh, makes them uh, ready for harvest in nine days. Okay, I started uh, sunflowers and Brussels sprouts. Actually, instead of broccoli, I'm trying to use up some other brassicas. And uh, day after tomorrow, that tray is ready for the radish. And um, basically on the third, I transfer these germinating trays uh, over to the flood table. And we'll see how that works. <laughs> 